if you arrive at the home of your child's mother with food, are you obligated to provide food for the siblings of that child as well, for the other children of that mother as well? Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, toasters, before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the content, hit a notification button. You do not want to miss this content. Now, there's a video that's gone viral. And this video is, in short, a man arrives to bring his son, his child, some fast food. Now, this child has three other siblings. Uh, these other siblings are not this man's children. The mother uh, is upset about this because he only brings food for this one child, his child. She's upset and she says that he should have brought food for all the children, even the children that are not his. He should have brought enough food for all the children to eat. Man, I saw this and uh, I know a lot of brothers you know, feel, feel a way about this. And uh, I like to be objective. But uh, like I said before, before we get started, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share the content. So I try to practice, consciously practice being objective and look at things from a 360 view. I try to really put myself in it and then look on the outside view from an outside perspective. So, in short, no, that man is not obligated, nor should he be expected to provide food for children who are not his. Uh, you know, and now if he's in the home with the children, he has taken on that role to provide for the household. And those children have to happen to be in his household, whether they're not biologically his or, or, or his. Uh, if they're under his roof, he does have an obligation to provide for everyone. That's my opinion. However, that's not the situation. Uh, the situation is uh, he's not with the mother of his child. His child has three other siblings. So he brings food just for his child and not for the three other siblings. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, he's not obligated to provide for people or children who are not under his protection, under his roof. Just, yeah, that's that's silly from a small view. You know, that's silly from a, from a, a micro view. Now, let's look at this from a macro view. Let's, let's stretch this out. What would I have done? It all depends. But I'm going to stretch this out even further, though. It all depends. If I was him, remember I said if I was him. If I was him, I would have bought or brought enough food for all the children. Yeah. And it's not because I'm into her, not because I respect her, not because I love her, not because I love her kids or respect her kids. It's not even that. Although we should, I believe, respect everyone from a base level. Uh, everyone should, should start out with some, some equity and respect. And it's up to them to add to that amount to that value or take away or deplete it or sustain it so uh you know, on the base level everyone should have respect but it's not even because of that it's because i'm teaching my son something i'm teaching him something now this brother uh chose to procreate with a woman who had kids by multiple dudes already he chose that you know and that's one of the reasons i tell fellas man it, do not do not get with women who have kids by multiple men. It's just too much going on, man. Too many men involved in your marriage, in your household. Uh, too many personalities. Even if the men are, are not around, these children still have these personalities, the DNA. It's just too much going on, brothers. And so, uh, you know, you're adding more stress and uh, just more, just more, uh, more hurdles, you know, to your life. Then, then there has to be. And so, uh, 
life is about you know making it as pleasant for others and yourself as possible you know and so uh you just added no stress to your life that you can't avoid and, and so uh i would suggest brothers not even get in that situation because these types of things happen but i would have bought or brought every child you know food because i'm trying to teach my son something i'm trying to teach him you know regardless of the situation these still your siblings uh have your brothers back have your sisters back and uh at the end of the day you are siblings another thing i'm trying to teach them or protect them from is you don't want your son to be an outcast you don't want your son to be a target and to to be uh to, to be the target of jealousy and bitterness and envy that happens that happens when you come around and you're providing and these other kids don't have a father and they're not being provided for. That's not your fault. That's not really your issue. I agree. However, kids are kids. And there's going to be a lot of contention. A lot of strife. A lot of bitterness and envy. Between your child and the siblings. You know, that's not going to be a good experience for your child. It's just not. Now, if you're bringing shoes over, clothes. No, I'm not. I'm not providing all that for these kids. But fast food. Yeah. Yeah. You know, four burgers and all, four fries, four burgers, four drinks. You know, want to do that? You know, why not? You know, but uh, I said in the beginning, if I was that guy, but see, I would never be that guy because uh, if you're in that situation, brothers, where you're not with the mother, and whether she has other kids or not, you want to be in a situation where you're not dropping food off. See, typically when this type of thing happen where brothers are dropping food off dropping clothes off dropping money off that's because they're not stable their home life is not stable they're staying with a woman or they're staying with their parents or staying with a homeboy they're staying couch to couch they're hustling scraping you know uh, money to to uh, provide for their child they don't live a stable life and so that's why i said i would never be that guy because I want you to listen, fellas, if you're in this situation or maybe in this situation in the future. Provide a home for your child. When your child comes to see you or visits, I want you to say visits, comes to their other home. It should not appear that they're visiting. They should not feel like they're visiting. They should have their own food, their own special food, their own snacks, their own clothes, uh, toothpaste toothbrush uh, soap soap they like lotion whatever that should be their home nothing should have to be exchanged from home to home you know in my situation you know my kids had their own doctor and their mom had a doctor for a pediatrician i had a pediatrician she had a dentist i had a dentist um you know that's that's just what it was uh, you know could it have been better co-parenting? Yeah, but it wasn't. So, hey, I had to do what I had to do and, you know, have my own insurance, own doctors, own dentists. And so there was no exchanging of anything. There was no dropping off anything. What I gave you in child support, that's what you get. I'm not sending anything over. My child has everything they need and want in my home. And so that's why I say I would never be that guy. So don't, don't be that guy. But if you're in that situation, I think the guy should have brought four burgers. Not for the kids' sake, the other kids' sake. Not for that woman's sake. But he want to teach his son something. He also wants to protect his son. Because when he leaves, his son still has to live there. He still has to live there. He still has to deal with the envy and the jealousy and the bickering and fighting. So uh, do everything in your power to try to instill brotherhood and camaraderie if you're in that situation but i've never been in that situation um i've never seriously been with a woman with more than one child either they had no children or one child um and that, that's not always good even with the one child but uh yeah with multiple multiple kids with different fathers no no that, that just wasn't my thing i didn't want to deal with the headache and I didn't want a lot of brothers at my house. So, you know, I, I didn't want to do it. But, hey, to each his own. But I'm telling you, signing up for some drama if you do that. 
And so this type of thing happens, man. This isn't nothing new. This is a normal thing that happens when a woman has multiple kids by multiple men. This, this happens, man. Um, my mom had, had four kids by four different guys. And I'm telling you, man, we're, we're not close. You know, there's a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. We're not close. And I'll dig into that even more deeper one day. But I knew as a child I needed to avoid this. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just not a good move to make. But uh, that's my take on it, man. As usual, as always, from me to you, love, peace.